So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Hey, Red. How'd it go? Same old shit, different day. All right, Tregos, what's happening? Cheers, banter, FC. I was only just saying to myself that we haven't had a Tuesday game in a while and how much that I've missed them. You are fake news. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one, we're off to the hive. It's banter, FC, the Potters Bar Tan in the fourth round qualifier replay of the FA Cup. So I didn't vlog the first game that we played. As I was off to a wedding, I wouldn't have had time to edit it. But if I did do a vlog for the game, it would have turned out a bit like this. It's so boring. <laughs> Where does that expression come from? It doesn't make any sense. Make it stop! <laughs> Damn it! But anyway, that's another chat of bollocks. Let's get into the real nose! So Potters Bartan finished 16th last season in Ishmian League Premier Division, where they played 42 times, winning 13, drawing 10, losing 19, scoring 51, conceding 56, goal limits of minus 5, and ended on 49 points. They currently sit 10th, and their last five games have been three wins and two draws, unbeaten in the last 10. <laughs> Leo Leary is the gaffer and he took charge of the Scholars on the 1st of July 2018, where he's now taken 62 games, winning 23, drawing 15, losing 24. Gives him a win percentage of 37.1. Number nine, and a mate of mine, Josh Hutchinson, who has nine goals in 13 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Now you know me, I don't like to brag or anything. But I used to be Hutch's manager. He was playing for me two seasons ago. Taught him everything that he knows, really. Friend, football friend. He used to play for that two bob club up the road, Wildstone. But they didn't know what to do with him, so he came to a manager that knew what he was doing. Oh, you want some? If you want some, I'll give it to you. You want to do it with me? Oh, shit. Here we go again. Apart from a couple of friendlies and a Hart Senior Cup, this will be our first competitive game. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get the win and get into the next round of the cup. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Potts Bar Tan. You've had your fun. Your cup final. Your moment in the sun. We knocked out Sheffield United at their gaff last season in this competition. And we ain't stopping now. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet! <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnet today in a 4 2 3 1. Loach in goal. Your back four of Shad Alexander at right back, David Stonder at left back, Captain Callum Reynolds and Ricardo Santos at your two centre halves. Two centre mids, Ari Taylor and Andre Bucard. Three in the advanced midfield role. Midi Elite on the wide left, Mason Clark on the wide right, and Jack Taylor as a number 10. And up front, Josh Walker. And this is our Potters Bar Town lineup in a 4 4 1 1. 20 minutes in, still 0 0. What have we done? Well, we've moved the ball nice sideways about 50 times. Reynolds has done about 49 long balls. And that's it. We know we're going to get more of the ball than they are, and we're doing nothing with it. We don't know what to do with it. 26 minutes in. Banter. Nil. Potter's Bar Town. One. <laughs> You can't make this shit up. You really can't. Many Alita loses the ball right in front of us. Three Potters Bar Town players round him. Number seven clicks the ball, cuts inside on his left foot. Has a crack just in front of the D. Loach beaten to his bottom left hand side. Sense it off, Potters Bar still lead 1-0. I'm not shocked at all. They've grown in confidence, they're playing quite well. We're keeping the ball and then doing nothing with it. Hearing me say the same thing over and over again, and I'm fucking bored of saying it, it's just shit. Yes! In fucking yes! 37 minutes in, Barnet 1, Potters Bar Town 1. Forgive me if I'm not excited. Josh Walker has scored again. So Tom the whips the ball into the box, Josh Walker unmarked. He ended it over the keeper.
time here at the Hive. It's Barnet 1, it's Potts Bar 10 1. Let's not beat around the bush. It's been shit. It's the same shit, just a different game. Keeping the ball well, but we're doing nothing with it. We're just passing from sideways to sideways. It's like watching a bunch of crabs play football. Just not penetrating, we're not driving, no one's creating any space. That's why we're doing far too many Hollywood balls. Potters Bar don't look a couple of levels below us. They've not been at the game at all. Neither team's created anything, but I'm just bored now. On paper, we should have enough to beat these, and we're struggling against Potters Bar Tan. I just, I've had enough. I'm bored at my nut now. We've got 45 minutes to sort our lives out. Sort it out, Barnet. Three minutes in, Barnet two, Potters Bar Tan one. Jack Taylor held the ball up, played to Mason Clark, cutting on the edge of the box, left foot, bottom right hand corner. 60 minutes in, we still lead 2 1, but we've just been given a penalty. No idea why Potters Bar were trying to play it from the back there. Constables brought Jack Taylor down. Jack Taylor to take. Yeah! Jack Taylor slots it straight down the middle of the net. Barnet three, Potters Bar Tan one. 10 minutes remaining, we still lead 3 1. We should have enough about us and be comfortable to see this game out. Being Barnet, you never know. Bugard piss about with a ball on our edge of the area, which allowed Potters Bar to get a shot off. But he recovered well and got the block away. Into 90th, we still lead 3 1. They just added on three minutes. So the game finished Barnet 3, Potters Bar Town 1. Controlled most of the game like we do most games. Trying to build up play by passing it sideways like a crab, waiting for gaps to open up. But Potters Bar defended well enough that it didn't allow us to do that. So the Hollywood Balls came out of play. It took us two very strong sides and two attempts to beat a pub side. We're higher up than Potters Bar in the football pyramid for a reason. Yet we struggle to break them down at the best of times. 11 men behind the ball or not. We're professional players on full-time contracts that work on this on a day-to-day in training. In. Yet we struggle to break down a team two leagues below us. Call it magic of the cup if you want. People raise their games. But questions need to be asked from everyone why we struggle to break down part-timers. So when we went 1-0 down, I wasn't surprised. I've seen it how many times this season? And it takes us to go a goal down to actually pull our finger out and start playing some football. No one wanted the ball until we went 3-1 up. And then all of a sudden, everyone's turning into Lionel Messi and wants to do step overs and tricks and flicks and want to be alive and actually want to show that they want to play some football. What happened to us? playing with freedom, playing with no fear, actually attacking teams, looking to do something when we've got possession of the ball. I just don't think we've got the motivation in the team for the management staff to the players to get us going for a game, actually want us to go out there and win. We can hold all the possession in the world and keep the ball and the other team ain't going to score from that. But neither are we if we're not doing anything with it and we're not penetrating the goal. Fair play to Potter's Bar for making it difficult for us and giving us a game. They made us work for that win. A win is a win and now we're into the first round of the FA Cup against Fleetwood Town. But we've got Hartlepool United away next this Saturday. You know what to do. Tala.